woulda, coulda, shoulda. Matt's my fiance. And in the five months that I've known Matt, he's been incarcerated 100% of the time. We have not spent a minute, not a second, outside of prison walls together. He is in prison for possession and eluding, and uh, possession of a firearm, and running from the police. But Matt's getting out of prison tomorrow, and there's just so many things that I'm excited to be able to finally do with him. One thing that I wish I would have done differently um, was bailing him out. He wouldn't leave me alone. The calls wouldn't stop. He was demanding. He, I, I mean, he was rude. And it was the only thing that I had control over at the time. I could pay the bail, the, the calls would stop, and he'd get off my case. You gonna bail me out? I need to bail out. Are you going to keep stealing cars, or are you going to call people to get rides? Uh, I didn't steal a car. Stop. Get irritated. Are you going to come bail me out tonight? Have a good day. has worked for me uh, uh, maybe 200 hours of his life. I, I, like, the dude has not really ever held any type of job down. I have no idea what the right job for me is. I just know that it needs to be something that I enjoy to do, because I hate working. Just interested in uh, maybe trying to get a job or something, just job, anything, yeah. You go ahead and get this pump prime for me. I would love to do it for you, and I know this is such a bad part of an interview, but I'm, I just got out of prison, and I have no clothes. You're not going to buy shoes yeah. without a job. Yeah, I know, and I feel like a dick for not. Okay, so here's to do the thing, it. all right? You don't seem very driven. If you're worried about getting your pants dirty, your shoes dirty, I'm not going to give you a chance. Then man. I ain't working with you. Then. then there's people you, lining up to work. Then you can keep your job. Then yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can get on, get yeah. back on the bus, and go yeah. back to wherever yeah. you came from. And you're a sucker. A giant do-over. If you're going to a job interview that is, you know, maybe construction related, prepare yourself. Maybe bring a different pair of shoes that you don't really care if they're gonna get dirty. So you don't have to have a bitch fit and like almost have this guy that's interviewing you like call the cops on you because you're acting like a fool. It's prepare yourself, dude. Looking back at it, I don't I don't think Matt was ready for a relationship. I feel like the relationship that he needs to work on is the relationship that he has with himself. And I, I mean that's gonna take a lot of work. And once you know, spend some time working on yourself, get yourself right, and then maybe worry about finding someone else. But you have to be right in here. Like, you have to take care of yourself. Otherwise, you're no good to anyone else. Like, one major thing I would do differently is when my mom passed, we're at the funeral home, and Mr. Matthew tells me to pipe down. I honestly probably would have left his ass there and never spoken to him again after that. Because regardless of what was going on with us at the time, that's just not the way you treat someone going through anything like that. Come here, Precious. It's OK. We're just commu we're communicating. Well, he hasn't told you that it's been months that I've been asking him to do the oh, same. Is. I also it's, just it's, got it's, out of prison, and it's my first we've, relationship we've, I've ever been in. So well, maybe you should hold on a little second, and let me finish. And you're in prison, your relationship, everything's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you get out, changes, life happens, and you know what I mean? I kind of feel like I make changes, and... Maybe hey, you should ask him what? what changes he's guess made. What? Hey, guess what? Uh, I've never made a change for anyone in my life, you know what I mean? So why don't you pipe down over there and stop yelling over the barrier? Um, OK, I'm like, I've had it. Prick. Something I really wish I would have done differently is I wish I would have added to Matt's two holes. I wish I would have clocked him in the mouth when he told me to pipe down when I'm cremating my mom. I just feel like that's asinine. I probably would have knocked all of them out. People ask me quite often if I would get involved with someone who is incarcerated or has been incarcerated. And I don't know if it's a yes or no answer. I think it's pretty circumstantial. I don't know that I would be so quick to get involved with someone who's still incarcerated. I feel like let them get out and acclimate to life and see how that goes before, you know, I get too crazy involved with anyone or even think about it. So I feel like dating 
Well, ever since I cut my hair and colored it, like I'm, I'm ready for it. We dropped Matt with the new hair, like bring it on. All the men, if they're decent. I did rip the bandit off. I had sex. It was good sex, but it was just sex. But I mean, the bandaid had to come off eventually. So I ripped it off. Wonder what happened to your favorite love after lockup couples? You annihilated my heart. Now, find out if there's life after lockup. I can't believe he did this to us. All new episode Friday at 9 on WeTV and the WeTV app.